excited. This is Jesse, aka BGMH, and I am back for another Low Vision Spotlight game video. This time we're looking at a game that, again, came out of nowhere for me. But I'm, from what I've played of it so far, I'm really glad I found it. We are looking at a game that I don't exactly know how to pronounce, to be honest with you. A P O C R Y P H. Apocryph? Apocryph? I don't have a clue. Basically, it's, um, and even the subtitle says, an old school shooter. That is actually the way it's listed on the Steam page. And it is indeed an old school shooter. And, of course, by shooter, I mean first person shooter. And, you know, something that will kind of evoke the 90s era first person shooter, Doom Quake, Heretic Hexen. And that's one of the things I think is cool about this game is just the fact that this isn't like Doom. Um, it's not like Quake. Well, eh, maybe a little bit of Quake in there. But this one really reminds me of something like uh, Heretic or Hexen. And uh, let's just get into it and I can kind of explain why. But main menu here, not too bad. Uh, we got our nice large menu buttons there. Uh, the one thing I would say that is kind of annoying in the game, even though you have nice large text generally, uh, they like to use a lot of that stylistic font, which can kind of be sometimes hard to discern what some of the letters are. Um, so, you know, I kind of wish they had, like, you know... It's fine, I guess, if you want to do that, but, like, as far as, like, readability, it would be kind of nice to be like, hey, just, you know, maybe have an option to say, hey, use a regular font or something like that. Um, but anyway, let's just do a new game. We have multiple difficulty settings that we can chain, that we can do here. I'm kind of playing it on, uh, I can't remember the second or third, uh, pretty challenging, uh, but I'm just going to play on high suck mode uh, for now because I just want to, you know, talk and play at the same time. And here we go. This is, this is it. We load. And boom, here we go. Now, the cool thing is, you notice, like, okay, this, I guess it just remi reminds me, you got the whole medieval thing going on. I even start with melee. Like, I don't even start with, like, a, a gun or anything like that. Um, and that's where this really reminds me of Hexen. I really got to cover Heretic and Hexen on the channel at some point. Because, like Doom 1 and 2, I played the hell out of those games back in the day. And not as much as Doom and Doom 2, but I played them quite a bit. I did, I played Heretic and Hexen quite a bit. You see, even on the bottom, you see the little, uh, my dude in the middle there, a uh, little uh, headshot. You've got all kinds of stats and health and armor and ammo and like all this other stuff, just like your typical 90s era first-person shooter, and a lot of that, again, was, you know, back in the day, it was partly an interesting way to show all of the needed information for your HUD, but it was also to kind of help make the game playable on lower-spec systems, because remember, even games like Wolfenstein 3D, you know, they had those, uh, like, you could adjust literally the screen size, so... Even if you had the bar on the bottom, you, you could actually make the screen, like, the, you could make the play area the rest of the screen, or you could zap it down to be a little bit smaller, just to make the frame rate go better on an older machine. So let's get some collectibles, smash some crates, and some barrels. So, like I said, Heretic and Hexen, they were just, like, kind of made style. Oh, that's cool. I was wondering if I could break that down that way. Um, but they were these, you know, they were, yeah, they had the gun sort of thing, but they were more, you had like the bow and arrows, you had these mystical, like, magic-y weapons, and Hexen, you even had character classes, like, uh, you, you could choose like, between a fighter, a mage, and uh, there was like, what, three classes? I think warrior, mage, and I can't remember what the third class was. So 
let's open this giant door and uh, fight some skeletons. How about that? Hey guys, how's it going? There we go. Yeah. And, you know, you don't have the rock in music right now. Um, it's it's kind of subtle, but <coughs> almost has like orchestral style to it. But it you know it fits actually. Kind of has this sort of uh, I don't know what you would call it like. It sounds cool, but... I th ah, hey, Bob. I think it also... Kind of has a little bit of eeriness to it. That works pretty well. And so far, the music in this game has been actually pretty good. I like it. In addition to shooting, um, the other thing that Heretic and Hexen added is... They added, like, consumable items. So you could use things like, um... Man, I, I like this. Oh, yeah, splitting pieces. Yeah, giblets. Anybody else want some? Uh, but they had... Oh, hi, how you, how you doing? They added, like, you could use these potions that would restore your health or your mana. Um, they had, oh, several different kinds. I remember... There was one item that was, I know it was in Hexen, I don't know if it was a heretic or not, where you could turn somebody into a chicken, uh, enemies into a chicken, that was pretty amazing. <laughs> um, there's another, a lot less lesser known game that I wish would come out to, uh, I wish this series would come to something like Good Old Games or something, but I found it in a uh, computer store, in an incredible universe actually anyone remembers that store. Man, the mer like so many classic gaming memories, you guys. Like, in the 90s, there was, again, there were like just, you had all these cool old games, but like, even stores. Um, I went and visited my cousin out in uh, Washington, like a lot of cousins and stuff out in Washington, and there was this store called Incredible Universe, and it was... Yeah, it was incredible, right? because at the time, um, I mean, it, it was kind of like a, I would compare it to like a Best Buy, Micro Center, but like on crack. Um, they had, literally this was around, you know, the, the 16, 32-bit era games, so like you had the, uh, you got the first switch here, which people on chain, um, but like there was these, uh, You know, yeah, like anything from like uh, Super Nintendo, Genesis, Saturn. I don't remember if PlayStation was out or not. I know they had PCs with like Quake on them. But literally, like all around the store, <clears throat> they had like, you know, mind, pu like physical mind puzzles, a theater section with like recliners and stuff where you could actually, oh, I'm done walking around the store. Uh, you could just go and sit and like just look at the new TVs and, you know, watch. Um, Watch stuff in these really like really comfy chairs. Uh, it was just a really really cool store, and I want to say that's kind of why they maybe went out of business. <laughs> because I think they're, they're, it was kind of like what they you know, what a lot of the big block box stores are encountering now, where you have <clears throat> people that you know they 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 play with the objects, mm. they play with the products, but then they don't necessarily buy them, because now the problem is everyone just looks for a cheaper price on, on online after they see if it's an item they want, uh, and then, you know, that happens, but back then it was just like, as kids who couldn't afford anything back then, uh, where we could go and just like try out some of these things, and like literally I remember one afternoon we spent, um, like four or five hours there, and we still could have stayed longer. Uh, went by the mall and got ice cream. That was just a fun as hell week that I had there. Back to the game, though. You see we got a nice rapid-fire weapon down there. Now that I hit that switch up there, we triggered a monster closet with a big ogre dude or whatever, and we got another weapon, so we got that. And, like, the graphics of this, th I like... This is a perfect example of how to do a classic um, 
you know, your old school shooter, as they say, because it's, I, I wouldn't call it like 90s, not, it, it's definitely not 90s era graphics, it looks better than that, I think. I mean, look at the lighting, look at, <clears throat> look at the, the candelabra on the wall, or the torch on the wall. Um, it, you know, it, the lighting effects and the shadows and stuff like that, it, but it, it still looks, like, appropriate. It, it kind of looks like how we wished or how we, how cool we think the games looked back in the day. So it straddles that line of, like, you know, really evoking that style, um, but actually making the game look better. So I think that's a that's a good uh, a good style to go for, and I think it works. I think it works. I I rather like this. All right. So oh hey bud. Hey you too skeleton. How are you doing? You wanna die? Okay. soaking in the environment here. Let's open this door. Hey, buddy. I'll make you a splatter. Oh, you wanna, you wanna try to fight me too? Alright, fair enough. So we kill those. We can break that. There does, there's not always something in them, but I do like to break them. Although I, I can't, I can't break these vases, these vases. And they don't seem breakable. Just kind of I think those will just shatter too. Oh, well, whatever. Yeah, look at I mean, look at the the shininess on the floor. Look at the the lighting in here with the uh, with the barrels and stuff over there on the left. I mean, it's yeah, it's a nice looking classic style game. Your, again, your monster closets, and if I was playing this on a higher difficulty, we would have more than one guy coming out of there. So, like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this on a little bit higher difficulty, but for the purposes of the video, making it a little more casual, so I can kind of talk and play and not die every two seconds, I figured, eh, you know, this is the way to go. I don't care, I'll be close on camera. I'm not super great at like high stakes going, oh, you know, high stakes going, oh crap, I, I gotta beat this. Alright, I think we got. Hey guys! Oh yeah, we're kicking right now. Hey guys! Okay, we got Mr. Over guy. Oh, we got a bunch of shit. Check this out, I got Yeah! Shoot grenades. Um, I picked up some kind of explosive thing that I just gibletized everybody over here. That was pretty fun. So we had some kind of rockin' music before because we triggered... Oh, you guys, that's right. Hey, sit down. Ow! I said, sit down. Uh, the next level, once we get to level two, uh, we're gonna get... Oh, you're trying to spit Good chunk. That's some good chunk of sound effects. It, you just hear the body parts just. You know, it's just a real chunky, really meaty sound. Uh, very nicely done the audio sound effects there. Alright, so we got some sort of little altar thing that is uh, going horribly wrong. Uh, that doesn't look too promising. Uh, we're basically trying to get a key back in that main room upstairs. Uh, I need a key, so we are going to attempt to get that key after we get these pickups. And open this door. Hey guys! Hey! Rule number one, especially with these classic shooters, Stop moving. If you move, if you stay 
stand still, you're dead. Especially when there's actually enemies around. So now we're on the other side of that, those fences uh, where we came downstairs originally. And I'm just going to double check, make sure there's no other passage <coughs> or I don't see any secrets or anything. <coughs> Guys, how's it going? You want to talk? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's some, <laughs> some good sound effects. I like that. And what have we got here? Chazing. That lowers down, which I will blow that up in momentarily. Grab some kind of power-ups here. Break it. Break it. those because I like to break stuff. I should have actually not used this weapon. I should have actually used my fists, but my little gauntlets, but oh well. Okay, so yeah, now we're back up to where this is where we originally came down. We have what we came for. And now Talking about an old school shooter, that was half the thing. You, you know, that was half the deal. You try to find secret passages that would have ammo or power ups or health or something. All right, so we grabbed that stuff. Now we can open this ginormous door. <coughs> and this first level is very linear. There's not a lot of branching paths. Kind of just getting you used to the game. You'll see more. A little bit more uh, in the next level. Although, like I said, I really like the look of this level. I like the kind of. It almost seems like we're in some kind of a medieval dungeon, uh, which I, I like. Let's grab this stuff. Okay, can I not? There we go. Pull that. This music is actually kind of calming, kind of relaxing. I mean, it's kind of eerie, but it's it's like okay, no, you're, you're not gonna, you're not, you're not finding anything too strenuous just yet. We'll get there. Though. Oh, um, I, I was meant. I don't know what distracted me back when I was talking about there was an overlooked game that I want, the game series that I want to come. Yeah, when I started, I got distracted on Incredible Universe. Uh, there's a game series that this reminds me of. Like I said, Heretic, Hexen, but then there's another series called Witch Haven. Uh, there was Witch Haven 1 and 2. I actually played 2 first, because at an incredible universe, I saw the box art and everything, and I saw the screenshots on the back, and I'm like, dude, that looks cool. Because uh, it was really, it seemed like it was really a lot more like first-person shooter, but melee focused, and it was, it was really kind of badass, like for back in the day, um, it, oh, okay, a skeleton, um, it was this medieval, uh, medieval first person shooter you had, but it was really, you had a lot of swords, uh, oh, uh, hold, hold that thought for a moment,
then Witch Haven 1 was just Witch Haven. Uh, but they, they focus a lot more on melee. And melee with the sword, you have like this mace. Uh, you had a uh, Warhammer thing that shot out stuff, and you found these little, uh, like, pools or whatever, mana pools, and you could enchant your active weapon, and then it would, like, be a while until your mana ran out, you could, uh, you just have, like, fire effects or all kinds of whatever enchantments you could find. And instead of inconsumable weapons, you actually had spells. You had a spell book, and you'd find these little scrolls that you could use for consumable spells. You could, could like scare people, get a fire spell. I think there was like nine. There was like nine or eight or nine spells that you could choose. And it was just a really neat kind of game. Um, and I remember just being so impressed with like the the audio and the visuals back then of like you know oh man look at the animations on them when they walk around or like when you die they have these like pre-recorded human like just screams like ah, and you were like leaving somebody apart uh, I just remember being fascinated with that because that was when you know I really it was like a sound, sound cards were a new thing I used to have computers that didn't have sound cards remember the shitty PC speaker the little bips and beeps a lot of you guys are probably too young alright okay hey guys get some more rock more skeletons to destroy. Oh, okay. You want some too? Okay. Hey. Yeah, it's jib for me. Excellent. Somebody would, uh, like, you would hit somebody with something else and they would fight each other. That was so cool back in the day. Alright, we're pretty much getting done with this level, I think. Um, we hit our switch that we needed. Grab that. We got a couple more enemies coming up, I think. Does look like that statue looks like it would just come alive. Wouldn't surprise me if it did. Okay, before I get these power ups, I happen to know at least there's one or two more guys. That guy! Got a good blast by that weapon. He's dead. I can't remember if we have one more guy. Oh, I can't remember if we have one more guy or not. Oh, jeez! Hi! Hi, hi, hi. Yes, we okay. Uh, yeah, remember? Oh shit. Hey, hey. Okay. Yeah, remember what I just said? Remember how I thought that guy would come alive? <laughs> yeah, about that. I wanted to I wanted to surprise you with that one. Although uh, it was pretty pretty well telegraphed. You figure a game like this. It really wouldn't surprise you if, if a thing like that were to come alive and start chasing you down. So, here we have our exit portal, or portal, portal, not portable, <laughs> um, but we got to hit a switch first, which happens to be right here, and I'm going to go back and I'm going to get any remaining power-ups in this hallway before I do, because I want to be loaded, fully equipped start the next level, because that is very important. Uh, and I think... I thought, I thought these were <coughs> open. Like, there's a way... Uh, I thought there was... I thought there was... Like, when I played this yesterday, I thought there was a way that like, there was some compartment in here that would... You could <coughs> open... Just pick up a couple other power-ups in this level. 
Maybe not. Could be remembering wrong. But, first level down. So let's hop in the old portal here. And here's your end of level screen. I'm going to get a drink of water quick. There we go. Good to go. We'll see if we can maybe get through one more level. All right. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit the pause. I am going to save. And I'm going to... I'll just save it one as you can down here. That way, if I do something stupid like die, um, we won't be... So now we get our kind of, here's our classic 90s walk -in. it's not really but this is kind of what you would think of as far as like first person shooter and the guitar rock and thing going on here. There is a guy around this corner that I want to go. Okay, you're close. Just want to kill these guys. Oh, okay, hi, hi. I'd like to be splattered in the face too. Awesome. So, uh, there's another guy. Uh oh. So that guy now. You, sir. And then die. Thank you. So there you go. You have your... Ow. Yeah, chip, buddy. There you get your end of level already, but we are far too uh, early in level for that. They're just teasing you with, like, the answer. And we've gone from, like, a dungeon area to, like, the pits of hell or something. We've got lava everywhere. You just, you know, I don't know what you're doing. You didn't get back later on, uh, so apparently, uh, I'm going to go back here and collect some powers, yeah, collectibles, and since I killed a bunch of guys, I'm not going to save this gun, but I just want to, there we go, uh, I, I kind of want to try to save some of these Happen to know that we're going to be coming back because I have been this. I've got part way into the third level. That's as far as I've played this game so far. But, like I said, as much as I've played it, I like it. Now, uh, I am going to go down here and just clean out the main area. I know I'm going to be going back here again. Wait, yeah, 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 yeah. Later. Okay, don't phone me. Hi, Ogre. Hi, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, two, three. Spanish. There we go. All right. Done and done. I'm going. Oh, yeah. All right. So, kill them skeletons. Hey, guys. How's it going? Yo. We're going to get some kind of a power up. I'm not exactly sure. Okay, oh yeah, that's right, that's my right, uh, right mouse button. So that's pretty cool. Now I have another uh, attack thing. This is more of an energy, more of an ammo, but hey, uh, we might want that. So that's another reason I wanted to come down here first. So that is the blue door, or blue gate. Uh, we're not going to get that for a while yet. So what's actually going to happen is there's a wall back over that way. Get past, but we're gonna come around on the other side, and eventually we're gonna come back. And uh, we're gonna come back around that way. So, making the end of the level a bit easier. Uh, Alright, so let's just, again, just because I don't wanna spend 
spend a lot of time going backwards. Uh, I want to keep it for the video. Save again. All right, we got another date. We got another skeleton. All right, anybody else? All right, yes, lowering the walls. Hi, skeletons. Hi. Down, boy. Boys. Unmanned skeletons. Done. Okay, now I made this mistake yesterday. Don't go too far forward here. It's just eight inch forward and not fall down into the lava. I wasn't paying attention. Just went right down there and died. Because they tricked me. But yeah, I fell into the lava. So that was so quite quickly. So eventually we need to go that way. But first, we need to go this way. Again, I got nervous because I'm like, I don't want to fight a bunch of guys on narrow stairwells. I hate narrow guys. Hey! Shit is. Alright, we got that. Ready?
All right, well, nevertheless, we got it. Uh, now we can go down, and now we should have that other gate open that I was just looking at before. So let's go back down the stairs. Jam up with this uh, rock in the metal roof here. Oh, cool. Oh, wait, no, okay, I gotta do this first. In order to do that, so we can save. And uh, we gotta go this way first. That's right. Get up! No, don't you go. Don't you jump over the Hey! Shit for me. There we go. Go hold your. Hell yeah, who didn't die? 
right, truck a truck a grenade, get my ultimate fire a little bit. All right, yeah, that that was better than uh, last time. I can live with that. So what we've done is we have saved. I'll be much better off at the start of the next level than the last one. Uh, yeah, so this is, see, this is that bridge. Uh, I didn't go all the way down this way, but had I, there's these pillars that were blocking. Jump on here. And this should look familiar to you guys, so we'll hop on here. Jump back over here, and now we don't have any other guys to go Oh, remember this? So before we go in there, we'll just double check and see if there's any other uh, health or any power-ups that I might need to grab. Oh, yeah, okay, we'll grab that. That looks good. And now we go to our blue gate. There we go. Got all of our little spiral stairs here. Got some stupid and falling in the lava. up here, and we go over here, and they're not happy about it. Please die. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha sucks to be you. And, we the food draw, get that switch there, which in turn opens our exit. So now, we can go back down, and I'm going to go collect some power-ups and stuff, some health, and anything else that are, that have been scattered from the main, scavenged from the main area here, so we go back this way, we're there we go, no lava ties for me today, excellent, so we go back this way, and we pick up here, we'll grab that, 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 okay, we're good, let's grab some more ammo for that, yeah, okay, I'm going to be in a hell of a lot better place than when I started before, so I think we're going to actually use this save as my name is, well, no, that's right, I'm going to be in a hell of a lot better place than when I started before, so I think we're going to be in a hell of a lot better place than when I started before, so I think we're going to be in a hell of a lot better place than when I into the portal. So, two levels down. Alright, level three. Okay, I'm gonna save because we're at a new level and of course we want to save. Alright, and I'll do a little, just take a quick peek and see what this level is here. We got another, uh, more ammo for this guy that I'm carrying, which is good. Uh, but we s oh, what was that? I uh, hear some growling. Some weird sound effects. Boy, you almost wonder if these things are gonna jump out. Like, even look at, look at how big these things are. I wouldn't be surprised if shit goes down later and somehow these things come alive, jump out and come alive. Okay, we're going to inch our way forward. Oh. I hear... Yeah, it sounds like some sort of weird, like, half... Pig, half... Some kind of beast. <laughs> oh. Okay, that was fun. Yeah, so now you can hear my armor better. Okay, so we got more power ups there. Ah! There, Hey, hi. Oh, well, you can just frickin' die. Alright guys, you want some too? Glad to share. Glad to share. Oh, you 
want some too? Yeah. Perfect. Oh, that guy sounds like he's so close. There's, 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 sounds like some, some ankle biter is going to come and like, try to chew my face or something. <clears throat> okay, so we cleared out this little hallway. There's another gate that we're probably going to have to open at some point. Looks like we have a few choices. I can go around to the left there. Uh, I got a little passage that opened up here. Oh, whoa, we can go down that way. Yeah, so we got all kinds of little choices of things that we might want to do. I'm just going to go back to the beginning here. I'm going to hit save one more time. And you know what? Uh, I think you get a pretty good idea of what this game is. So I think we're just going to wrap up the video here. Um, like I said, yeah, uh, this is Ap Apocryph, Apocryph, I don't know how you say it, but Apocryph, uh, an old school shooter, it is available on Steam, I want to say somewhere between 15 and 20 bucks, I got it on sale, uh, I don't know, 30-40% off, so, uh, but yeah, I mean, this is one, again, that I had not even, uh, really heard of, didn't know about, just by, you know, the old school shooter name, I'm like, yeah, I'll watch the video and see, and I'm like, okay, hey, this looks like something I can play, uh, this looks like something I could get into, and I definitely am. Um, again, this is, I think, one of the best ways to bring back a classic feeling first-person shooter. Um, there's been other games that I've covered that have tried, you know, like, oh, we're gonna go for super, super low-res graphics, or we're gonna, um, like, the main one I'm thinking of was Strafe. Like, I remember hearing something about that one a while back, going, oh, man, that's exactly, yeah, like, old Doom and Quake, and, you know, they were saying all the right things, but then, you know, they, they put, they snuck in this randomly generated, you know, there's, the, there seems to be this craze, I think we're slowing down on it now, finally, but there, the last couple of years, there seems to have been this craze of, like, well, hey, this is how we can uh, re extend replayability. Let's make some randomly generated or procedurally generated uh, levels or level segments and, you know, randomly placed enemies and, you know, power-ups. And that, that can work in some situations, some games, but it shouldn't be overused. And I think, I just, you know, I, I don't think at this time, I don't think I've released the video for Strafe for you guys yet. Um, but maybe I have by the time you see this. It had a lot of cool ideas, and it kind of felt like an old-school shooter, but some of that other stuff just got in the way, and there's something to be said. I mean, not just for shooters, but, you know, you know, instead of being an open-world game or a procedurally generated game, there's really something to be said for a really well-crafted, linear single player experience you know you can place the power-ups where you want them you can place the enemies where you want them any kind of stage hazards where you want them i mean you know if you craft it really well and then balance it maybe you know for different difficulties maybe you put more or less power-ups more or less enemies or different enemy positions different enemy types restrict what weapons you get in certain you know in certain difficulties i mean that's the kind of thing that these old school games used to do. Um, you know, especially these DOS shooters, Doom, Quake, Heretic, Hex, and Wolfenstein, Duke. Um, all these things. So, I'm really glad to see a game, you know, more games like this. Because you got people my age who grew up with this stuff. And they want to play these types of things. They don't want to play Call of Duty. They don't want to play... You know, some giant open world thing where you have eight million fetch quests and things where you have to climb towers and it's just, eh, no, we just want to run around in weird, freaky, demonic environments and shoot dudes in the face. So, anyway, anyway, that is Apocryph, an old school shooter. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I definitely enjoyed it, uh, enjoyed playing, and I'm going to continue playing, actually, probably right now. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at BGFH79. You can also follow me on Mixer, mixer.com slash BGFH. Um, you, 
can check out illegallycited.com, although uh, not much has really changed there since I got the site going, but it's another resource for you. Like the video if you did, hit the like button, and uh, keep the subscriptions coming. And uh, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and until next time, I will chat with you guys again in the next time. Uh, next time. Later.